How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Sonic Adventure DX. Uh, before we get into the last story today, I wanted to kind of take a step back and look at one of the glaring questions that the game kind of has left unanswered at this point, which is, what is the significance of all these flashbacks that we've been seeing? I mean, you know, it was kind of important that we saw that all of this stuff was happening in the past before, but with Knuckles fixing the Master Emerald, I mean, Chaos's power has been sealed, so he's be under control. So why show all the flashbacks at all if that was what they were ultimately going to do? Well, I was looking back at the footage a little bit, and uh, one of the things that I noticed, it was basically the only major tangent that I could get out of the flashbacks that gave any direction to them, or a sense of like chronological order, was this character to call. So I figured if we kind of look back on her story a little bit, maybe we'll get a sense of why the glowing red light was showing us all of these different flashbacks from that time period. So um, I figured, you know, I'd put together a little montage of all the flashbacks that we've seen, and I haven't really seen anything else like this on YouTube, so I figured it might be a good resource for anybody looking for it. So uh, without further ado, I might do a little bit of color commentary on top of them just to explain my, you know, logic behind why I put this section where I did because I put them in basically a chronological order, like the rest of the playthrough, basically. But uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's take a look back at all the flashbacks that we've seen so far in the game. The servers are the seven Chaos Emeralds. Hello there, friend. How are you? Um, what were you saying before? Huh. It's something my grandmother taught me. I'm never to forget it. It goes like this. The servers are the seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. But I'm still not sure what it all means. But the number seven is the same as the number of emeralds there are. She emeralds probably heard about all the emeralds either from her father or from her grandmother, you know, from talking about the legends and all that stuff, so. And then, trying to investigate the legends, she went ahead and took a look at the altar herself to see what all the fuss was about. You know, because we wouldn't want it to end like so last time when you emeralds. jumped out at her for basically just running anywhere near the chow. And of course, seeing that the legend is true, she now has an argument against her father's ways. Father, please don't! To call, the seven emeralds are essential to our survival. It is for the good of all our people. How can I make you understand? Attacking other countries, stealing and killing, can't be the right path to peace. 
No one has the right to take their holy grounds. I beg you, Father. So fearing the worst, she ran you. back to the Emerald to let them know My what was going on. Coming here soon, and I fear what may happen. You must take everyone away from here. Oh, please. talk to my father again there must be a better way to do this don't worry my friends I won't let you down I must do something quickly now remember that the master emerald can't leave this place for later because it's kind of important so all was quiet for a little while while she attempted to figure out what was going on and what she could do. Well, not really quiet because this child's annoying singing echoed for miles and miles. But in any case, uh, it was decently peaceful as her father plotted out his plan to take over the altar. It's kind of the calm before the storm moment, you know? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to drown out the Chow's singing at this point. No! Don't go any closer! <gasps> I'm sorry. I see you must not be one of them, huh? Did you notice the presence guarding these children? He's a very loving and gentle creature. Remember that Chaos is a loving and gentle creature these for later as well. Are too vulnerable without its protection. This protection allows them to continue seeing in peace. Even I was surprised the first time I saw him. Now my father is trying to take their sacred home. heart is closed off to us all. My true hope is that someday we'll understand each other. Well, that's a nice hope to call, but unfortunately, your father was not so easy to come to terms with that. Hey, what happened here? I couldn't stop them. They came, and, and my father... I had no idea how bad this would turn out. I'm shocked. Look, it's the emerald. Wait. And that was it. That was all the flashbacks from all over the entire game that all of our characters had seen. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed that little montage. Like I said, I hadn't seen anything like it on YouTube, so I figured it would probably be the best way to kind of re-elaborate on everything that had gone on so far in the game and kind of give you a sense of what was going on. So uh, hopefully that wasn't too difficult to follow. I kind of tried to make sure it was a little bit coherent when I put it together, but uh in any case, on with the show. We have to get on with the last story here, so 
Let's head back to the Mystic Ruins, where things are not as good off as they seem to be. Oh yeah, that's right. Tails kind of put a Chaos Emerald in the Tornado 2 as a power source. And now Angel Island's falling again. Why would it be falling again, though? The Master Emerald is in place, so it should be able to float again. Hmm. Wait a minute. Is that... Chaos! The Master Emerald is where it belongs. But Angel Island is still falling. This doesn't make any sense. Maybe those Chaos Emeralds that I brought back with me have something to do with what's happening. I'll take them to Sonic for his advice. He's right behind you, you knucklehead! Do something before he kills both of us! Shouldn't you be on the beach, son? And maybe I'll take another vacation somewhere. Oh, I guess that was his thought bubble Sonic! in his ending screen. Hey there, Tails! Did you find the tornado too? Never mind that. Get up and follow me. Angel Island is falling again. Hey, no way! Who blew it this time? Oh, I don't know, but we better hurry! Hmm. It's all very strange and mysterious, but not to worry, we'll uh, get our answers soon enough. Hey, the glowing red light's gone. Hmm, wonder where that thing went. Well, I'm sure it's not important in any way to the major story. Well, I'm sure you guys got some good uh, rock samples or whatever the hell you guys were trying to get through here. I mean, you had plenty of time to go exploring in the jungle, so I can't imagine you didn't uh, collect too many samples. But yes, in any case, we have to head back to the altar on Angel Island in order to investigate what in the world is going on here. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more plot expose because most of our questions are still open-ended, so uh, game, time to explain yourself. Sonic, uh, sorry. Knuckles and Eggman, what happened here? He stole my Chaos Emeralds. And Chaos is still alive. What? Ah, he's not gonna get away with this. Hey, Eggman, wait up. We need your ice bombs to kill Chaos 6 this time. Sonic, Chaos is a fearsome beast. If he gets that last Chaos Emerald, we're done for. No need to explain. We'll get on it. Tails? Right. What? Oh, jeez, not now. Kind of in the middle of something, glowing red light. This place. It looks familiar. It's not a dream after all. Well, I don't care if it's a dream or not. We've got to go get that last Chaos Emerald. <sighs> Fine. We need 
those seven emeralds to give us total power. It's power for the people. And they are your people too, you know. We must get that emerald. Greed is our enemy. Once it starts, you will always want more. Please don't do this. I beg you. Bah! I don't listen to the words of a child. Ready, men? Charge! Kinda of nice to see Pachak Mac get what's been coming to him, the cold hearted bastard. Hey, are you alright? Uh, I think so. Oh my gosh! No, no, no! Hmm, he doesn't seem so benevolent anymore. And yeah, that's definitely chaos that was screeching in the back. How is Tikal gonna stop him? I mean, she doesn't know how to seal him. The seven emeralds are the servers. Chaos is power enriched by the heart. The controller serves to unify the chaos. <gasps> the seven emeralds can change our thoughts into power. If this emerald controls that power, please, you must stop him. Oh. So maybe she does know how to seal him. Good job to call's grandma. Wake up. Uh, uh <laughs> I was on a snooze cruise, I guess. Good thing you're okay. You just sort of conked out there. Knuckles left already. Come, we got to go after the last emerald. Uh, lead the way. It should still be on board the tornado too. So yes, Chaos was a benevolent creature until Pachakamak and his guards attacked the altar, in which case he went batshit insane and used the Emerald's power to make himself invincible, I suppose, to protect the altar. Unfortunately, that drove him to madness and then Tikal had to seal him up inside the Master Emerald. Now, the Master Emerald and Tikal didn't want the... Uh, Chaos Emeralds anywhere near them because they knew that Chaos would be there as well so they tried to keep them off Angel Island. That's why it fell again. And, uh, well, now we have to get that last one before Chaos does because, well, if he gets that last one, we're done. Look! It's the Tornado 2! Yeah! So let's get the Chaos Emerald and leave! No! He's got the last emerald! Now what do we do? Well, frankly, Tails, now's a good time to tuck your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. The end is coming for the finale of Sonic Adventure DX. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Take care.